Hi there, friends, family, and wedding photography, and also tennis enthusiasts. We are here today to build the fastest, easiest, and best website for your photography business. You can tell this is a photography video because that's why the camera is here on the table. Let's begin. So you come over here into your computer and you have your Fortet, uh, Fred again, and Skrillex Coachella closing set. Always loaded up in a second tab just, just in case you might need it. But then in the other tab you head on over to bookvocal.com slash Taylor and this is the new thing we built. I kind of demoed it a couple weeks ago and, and showed you how fast you can build a website. I'm going to walk through it at a little bit of a slower rate rather than just kind of rushing through it to show you can build a website in under a minute. And what you're going to be getting is a website that's uh, designed by people but then written a little bit by AI. So your About Me is going to be generated and you can regenerate it and regenerate it and edit it until you're happy with it. But everything is kind of just add your images and, and it just goes. And then not only that, but we'll talk about this in a minute. You also get a full booking system as well. So you can do your contracts and your payments and your galleries. And it basically just puts three of your subscriptions from your website, payment, CRM system, and galleries all into one for you. And your first month is just $5. So if you want to sign up and give this a shot, you can do this with your own images. So here we go. Number one, pick your starting point. You gotta enter my name. Taylor Jackson, all in caps for some reason. Let's cool it down a little bit. My location, Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Next question, what kind of photographer are you? I am a wedding photographer. You can type something else if you want. Here we go. This is the hardest part, actually selecting your images. The hardest part of building a website is always selecting your images. I recommend finding images that are a little bit wider or less of close-ups. The ideal images as marketing images for your website are going to be ones that a couple can picture themselves in. So rather than a, a straight close-up of a, a bride, which might be great, if someone comes to your website and they see that, are they going to identify with it? Are they going to think that not only is it a nice, pleasing image, but also an image that you can kind of see yourself in? So I like to use images of people holding hands, walking away, maybe a little bit more abstract or not abstract, but just that you can't see people's faces so they can picture themselves in that moment a little bit better. And then not only that, but also locations that people in your local area will be aware of. So when they come to your website, they're like, okay, we see that you're based in our city. This is an image you took in our city. Maybe it's supplemented with some other, not a conference workshop images. And if you wanna come and hang out with us in Banff, Canada, later this year in September, so far, three confirmed speakers at the time of recording this, they're all on the screen, it's pretty exciting. But then also, a pot uh, it will be confirmed, it's not confirmed yet, so depending on when I edit and release this video. But I promise you, it's big. So back to building, portfolio grid images, just basic images you're gonna want. Desktop hero images, these are wider images, so when someone comes to your website on a computer, they will see the full length header. Mobile hero images, so you can use some of the same ones if you want, but these are going to be vertical images, so when you're on the phone, you can also preview this all here so you don't have to be like updating it and going to it on your phone. And then a picture of your face. So here we go. So I'm gonna load in my grid images first, and then I'm gonna load in a photo of my face, and then I'm gonna come up here and grab my desktop hero images, and then my mobile hero images. So there you go, you can see them all. A mix of verticals and horizontals for these. Horizontals and kind of square-ish for here. And then verticals only for mobile. And my face is a square. Then you click next. And it just builds your website for you. So it builds you a logo, you can obviously come in and customize it. It builds your about me section. Uh, this is all written by AI, so you can go in and, and change it if you want. It's honestly like pretty accurate most of the time, even though it doesn't really know you, it knows you a little bit knows your location, knows what you do, and builds your packages for you as well that you're obviously going to go in and change up a little bit. Um, populate some testimonials for you that you can swap out with your real Google reviews. And then there it is. You have website. Beautiful, right? This is super important. Please always have that on your website and in the, the title bar up here as well so people know where you're based. And let's see what AI wrote for me. Capturing life one moment at a time, let's make magic together. I can't even read it, it's so good. Capturing life one moment at a time, let's make some magic together. Hello, I'm Taylor Jackson, a wedding photographer based in beautiful Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. I strive to capture emotion and beauty of every wedding I photograph. You can obviously go in and tailor a lot more to what you've done if you grew up shooting music or whatever, like include more things. 
but as a starting point to just get your website online to get something up there, I feel like this is incredible. Coming down here, some recent work. Beautiful, beautiful Iceland. And then we come down here into packages. So your packages, you can modify these, you can edit these, and it'll just give you a starting point. So for me, one of the hardest parts with building a website was pretty much just beginning. I felt that it was a very, very long startup process and I, it took me a long time to get to something that I was happy with. This is when I was either uh, building my website entirely from code or I was using one of the other online builders. And this gives you a 95% starting point so that it's not overwhelming to begin from zero. If you were just to kind of modify this all a little bit and leave it exactly as it is, it's going to be pretty darn good. You gotta change the testimonials though. You gotta change the, you gotta change this. People are gonna be like, that's weird, jelly beans? Yeah, okay, crazy. So swap these with real reviews, and if you don't have any, ask some past clients for them. Say you're redesigning your website, would love to include a photo of you. So what you do is you put their photo right here, and you put their testimonial there. Testimonials are 100,000% 100, more effective when it's actually accompanied by a photo of the couple. Otherwise, people are a little bit skeptical, like that photographer could have wrote that. Those aren't real people. And when they are real people, or maybe it's linked to a blog post, all of a sudden the trust indicator goes up. And here we go, into the contact form. Wow, perfect, right? Packages, everything just looks great. So when you're ready to save it, you can just click save and you can begin the sign up process to go a little bit into what you can customize and what you can change here. So you can change colors, obviously. You can change your intro, you can change your name, you can change taglines, your pictures, the about me. Down here in the portfolio, you can swap out images or rearrange them if you want them to be rearranged. Packages, uh, there's a lock on them because you do that through the focal dashboard because they're part of your backend uh, booking system. And I'll show you a little bit of the backend dashboard in a minute, but basically the way that it goes is that a couple will come to your package, they'll be like, hey, you're the photographer for us. We want to hire you. They'll send through a booking request and you can accept their booking request and then they just pay the retainer. Um, from my experience, so this may or may not be right for you, having my packages listed publicly has made my inbox zero. Right now, I bet if I load it up, an actual inbox zero. I was typically somebody that would have 30 to 50 emails in my email box pretty much all summer and it's stressful. The residual stress of it is extreme. I feel weird posting on social media. If I'm traveling and I have a lot of email that I have to get back to, I feel weird posting any images. This obviously has a bit of a, a, a negative effect in my life and now that has kind of disappeared. That is kind of a two-step process. So the, the first step is the, the booking process that it's just kind of maybe three emails usually, four emails and everything is solidified. But also the clients that you attract whenever you do list your prices, are clients that are just very happy. Um, Lachlan, the CEO of Focal, kind of describes it as, uh, depending on, I guess, the personality type. So are you the type of person, you're shopping for a car, you go over to the car lot, do you know exactly what you want, and you just wanna take that home right now, please, and thank you, I've researched online, I know all the financing, like, let's just go? Or are you the type of person that has no idea, and you show up, you're like, I, I would like a car, please, and show me your options. And having all of your packages online really attract that first type of client that is going to be really fast and easy to work with. They're going to be very low maintenance. Low maintenance to the point that it kind of makes me nervous sometimes that I feel like I'm not communicating enough with my couples. Definitely in the beginning, I felt as though I was going to be making more money if my couples were all my friends. And that's great in the beginning for the first couple of weddings, but at some point it becomes a little bit too much. I sustained shooting 70 weddings for about 10 years of my career, but if I was shooting 70 weddings a year, to have personal relationships with 70 people as a one photographer studio is absolutely nuts. And I wish that this is something that I would have done years and years and years ago because it attracts the clients that aren't going to email you for no reason. They're not just gonna send you an email being like, hey, like, play in the wedding. Would love to just like talk to you for some reason about nothing and send you like three questions that don't need to be answered just to have a conversation about their wedding. Sometimes clients are doing this to kind of check to make sure that, hey, you still exist, right? If, they, if there's kind of maybe some, some trust wavering there. But if you have everything out in the open and you're transparent, you are going to be attracting those couples that are just going to communicate with you less. And it's gonna be amazing. So it's going to leave your inbox at inbox zero throughout the wedding season, which is pretty crazy. It's May right now. You can swap all your testimonials out here. You can change the images. And down here you can edit what the contact form says as well as your social media links. Now that you built your website, these are actually my packages. 
and uh, you can come in and you can modify them, you can make them whatever you want. So in here you can edit your packages and you can actually have a real time uh, calendar if you want. You can show your availability or you can just have it completely open so people can just select a date to request. And I like to have it just so that even if I'm booked, I want them to still inquire because I will send that inquiry to one of my friends knowing that it is a very high quality lead and that one of them is likely going to book it. So you can modify all your packages in here, whether it's for weddings or for families. In bookings here, this is just a test account. In here, you'll get an email, but you can also just accept your booking requests. And once you do, you can set them up with a questionnaire if you want. You can set them up with your contract if you want, and you can request payments as well. And so if that inquiry comes through and they request, you can just click accept. If they don't do it that way, and maybe they send you an Instagram message and they wanna move forward, what you do is you create a booking here and you enter their information, come down here, you select the contract you want. If you have some questionnaires, you can select the questionnaires you want, send a message to the client, private notes for you, and you can add the package that they've chosen to go with, as well as line items if they've added anything else, or a discount if you've offered them a discount. And you just click create booking and send, and then they have a simple Stripe checkout link that they can just pay you immediately. And another maybe interesting thing to talk about, so for us here in Canada, we have a thing called e-transfers. Uh, I'm sure there's, there's other, uh, basically an e-transfer doesn't take any fee. So a credit card payment takes a fee. What I have discovered and one of the reasons that I am happy to take credit card payments and I am fine with taking the percentage for processing a credit card. I know some people charge an extra three or 4% or whatever if you're processing credit cards. I don't do that because I know that couples, they're planning a wedding. They probably have a lot of expenses all of a sudden. And if I'm actually waiting for them to have those funds in their bank account, it is going to be a much longer process. Maybe they're gonna be waiting for payday on Friday before they pay me. Whereas if it's a credit card payment, they can just solidify it right then and there. So while yes, if you're not charging that fee, you might be losing some percentage points over the entire year. You probably are also retaining one booking that maybe would have ghosted. So much can happen if they know that like, hey, they've spent all their money this week and they're waiting for payday before they actually get money in their bank account. And then what if one of their friends in that middle period, say it's Wednesday, one of their friends is like, hey, I would love to shoot your wedding for free. All of a sudden, it gets a little bit awkward. Maybe they haven't signed the contract yet. They certainly haven't sent the payment. So there is a chance that that booking might end up walking off. I know that this has happened to me. I'm not sure the, the reasons around it, but I know for sure that this has happened to my business in the past. And by accepting credit cards, you negate a lot of that. People also like the thing that I say that if they wanna pay by credit card, that's fine. Um, and I respect that you wanna get the airline points for your honeymoon. People seem to like that. People seem to like getting airline points as well. So uh, I would recommend if you're not accepting credit cards to please start accepting credit cards because it will speed your bookings up a lot. And then the last thing to touch on is galleries here. So I'm gonna come over here into galleries and we're gonna have a look at this gallery right here. Here we go. Let's preview this gallery. This is what it looks like, very simple. You can download it, you can look at images, you can scroll through them, life is good. So there it is, the fastest and easiest way and best way to build your website. Uh, first month, only $5. I thought that was text, but it's a, it's a graphic. And you can have an all new website that's absolutely beautiful, very nice in SEO, and also the booking system. There is one additional bonus that's not out officially yet, but if you do sign up, you will get access to it. You will get three months of AI blogging. So what that means is AI is going to help you write a great SEO out blog post, what SEO means, search engine optimization. You wanna have those keywords in there. You wanna be keyword rich when you're writing your blog post so Google can discover you and you can organically get a lot of work. How the AI assistant works is pretty simple. It'll ask you a few different prompts and you just answer those prompts very quickly. Simple things that you will know, such as where was the wedding? What's one thing that you enjoyed about the wedding? And then it will just write you a beautiful blog post based on the wizard stuff that it does behind the scenes. And it's again, like your about me page, very, very, very darn good. So if you sign up for this $5 offer, you'll get three months of AI blogging. It'll be out in the summer and you also get complimentary domain setup as well. What that means if you're porting over domain, you already purchased your domain and you would like to bring that over and have your focal site connect to it, you can do that. So there it is, combine a bunch of your subscriptions into one subscription and make your life a lot happier. That's all for me today, Taylor Jackson. See you next time. I'm here with the camera. That's how you know it's a photography video. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Or if I don't know, Lachlan, CEO, Focal Man, well.